but it, who knows what happens? He might think it's cross if he comes a regular. But what he's shown today, he can play at this level. And I think you asked me the question before the game about it. I still said it's probably a trial, but he certainly passed it tonight. And he's the real deal. And I think whether, whether it be he starts, even I think in 20 minutes to, to go in a, in a major tournament, you bring him on and he starts to cause damage like that, Ash. I mean, I play with some you know, fantastic dribblers. You did it like, like Sir Duff and Robin. It's a joy to have players that can get you out the pitch when they have the ball, isn't it? It is. All, I had Joe Cole in front of me, you, you know, so of course I kept the width and he, and he could drive inside. He was the one that was, at the time, probably our most creative player. In, in that team, yes, we had Lamps and the Stevie Gerrards, but around the box, he was the one, you know, he could skills, he could just flick that switch and, and be dangerous. And that's what, for me, that what, what Jack reminds brought, me of. Yeah, it brought joy to the game. Yeah, Joe was just, I, I, I really, I mean, it's not very often we do a game and the, your team loses 2 0, but I'm still here excited about what I've seen from a certain individual. And I think that's what you want when you watch football. It's part of the enjoyment of switching on tonight. My, my phone's gone mad, everyone's talking about Jack Grealish. And that's what football should be about. And I'm pleased, and it was great to hear Gareth Southgate talk about him. He's almost put that to bed now. It's not a Mason Mount or a Jack Grealish situation. They can both play in this team. The problem, you know, if I'm, if I'm Marcus Rashford, it, you know, even Raheem Sterling, I'm thinking, OK, there's a bit more competition than what I thought, but that's what you want as well. Well, Ashley, what happens then when those two players, Sterling and Rashford, come back? What happens to Grealish then? He's still got to be in contention. I, I think you talk about, you know, Southgate, Gareth got, you know, a little bit of stick for not, not you know, bringing him in the squad or, or playing him and there was that comparison. But I think he was, you know, Gareth has been honest with himself and honest with the squad, honest with probably Jack to say, last season he wasn't what he is now. You know, everyone was clambering for Jack, 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 Jack. You know, I, I think he was carrying a lot of weight on his shoulders, uh, you know, at the end of the, the season. Now he's come back, you know, he feels comfortable, he feels the squad's been improved at Aston Villa. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, he's playing, you know, higher up the pitch, he's playing with that confidence. So I think now was a, the right time to kind of breed him, let him come out, let him express himself. And, and this is what you need at this precise moment. But again, will Rashford or, or Greenwood, you know, they will be now looking, at, looking over their shoulder because I That's think good. that performance there was unbelievable. I mean, you mentioned the system change. You could change the system to go 4-3-3. Three, three. It's not a problem. You could play over two. You could go with Rice and Henderson and him just behind. Uh, sorry, him just ahead and then you are just playing off of a Harry Kane and then you've got Sterling and Rashford in wide areas. That's the way you could play. But... You know, Gareth obviously likes, obviously likes a three, so it, it shouldn't make that much of a difference. But there's many ways. I don't think we should get obsessed by thinking what system is going to suit Jack Grealish. Good players find their way in any system. You shouldn't be building a system around a certain player. If you're a good player, you don't care. You just want to go out there and do your thing. And the way that I think if we start burdening with someone like Jack Grealish with, oh, you've got a this instruction, that instruction, he, great players like him have played off the cuff. I remember playing with Paul Gascoigne. And I used to play with Gazza and I used to think, right, OK, I'd give it to him. And I think I'm going to just back you up. You do your thing because I can see the genius in you. And it's up to us, the rest of the, you know, the, you know, the good players, to make sure we let the great players do their thing. And that was what we need to do with Jack today. When Jack goes and does his little piece of magic, Declan Rice and Jordan Henderson shuttle across, that's all part of it. Would you be surprised, Ashley, now, hearing how glowing that Gareth Southgate was about Grealish tonight if he didn't make it into the, the final cut for the Euros next summer? Yeah, he, he, he brings that different option, that different, you know, way of playing. Uh, Jamie, you know, alluded to it about, yes, it's not about system, you know, it's, it's the players in that system. And, and I think with Jack, he can play anywhere on, on, on the pitch. Uh, so it is, I think after today's performance, tonight's performance, I think he's definitely made, you know, Gareth now stand up and think, OK, he, he's ready because Gareth didn't know. Gareth don't know this, you know, and now he's in competitive game against a very, very good Belgium side and he's looked like, you know, at home. So I think it's positive for Gareth, but maybe concern for other players could be. That's it. In, in a way, actually, it does Gareth it's a, a massive favour tonight. So if you get beat 2-0 and you don't play him, a lot of questions. But instead, we're going positive about Jack Grealish. So that, and that's exactly what we want. And I think they've both handled it perfectly, both been very grown up about it as well.